Hello, my Disney family. I hope it's okay I start calling you guys Disney family because that's the way I feel about you guys. But anyways, today I'm going to be showing you guys my, oh, sorry, my phone, my um, Disney Sleeping Beauty. It says the, why does it say the Aurora? It says the Aurora and Prince Philip. This is the first ever platinum wedding set I've ever bought because it is $750. Like, it's so expensive, so I haven't bought one before, but this one I just thought was so pretty. So, as you can see, lots of detail on the outer part of the box. It's really pretty. I really like this plastic part right here, how they made it so you can't completely see through it. I don't know, it just kind of looks like some kind of nice uh, window or glass or something. And here's the side of the box, which also kind of looks like a looks like a church window or something. <laughs> looks really nice, really pretty. And here's the back of the box with the information about the dolls. Get kind of a close-up, so if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Hopefully you can see all of it. It's kind of shiny a little bit. And there's the price tag, $750. Lord have mercy, it's so expensive. So this part right here is actually magnetic, so you can actually just open this up and you can see the dolls right away and they're plastic, which I'm gonna take the plastic off so you guys can see them much better. But you can kind of see through the glare, uh, Aurora and Prince Philip right here. Whoa, they are so pretty. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set. And I really do think that you pay $750 because it's so limited because there's only $650 of them worldwide. So I think you kind of pay that price tag for uh, the exclusivity of these dolls. So of course these dolls do come with a certificate of authenticity like the rest of them. And holy cow, I got number 22, which number's really not that big of a deal. It's just kind of a cool when you get a low number. And 22?! I don't think I've ever got one that low before. So I got number 22 out of 650, which is kind of sweet. So anyways, here's a better look at the dolls with the plastic off just so you guys can see. And like Prince Philip is nice and he's cute and his outfit is fun. But let's be honest here. The main attraction here is definitely Aurora in her beautiful wedding dress. Whoa. I mean, it's very, very beautiful. I really do hope one day I can actually take these out of the box when I have somewhere to display them because I think she'd be so pretty out of here, out of this box, and you could really just like spread her dress out. Oh, look at them holding hands. They're in love. Okay, so here I'll go ahead and show you guys Prince Philip first. He does have real hair, so that's really nice. Nice little detail. There's his face. They should give him real eye eyelashes too, like short eyelashes. Guys have eyelashes too. So Prince Philip's top here does have a whole bunch of detail, as you guys can see just with the, the sewing pattern, and his buttons right there in the front are real. His belt right here is actually a real plastic slash metal piece. I think it's just a little piece of plastic. And he's got a lot of details on his uh, sleeves up here. You guys can see, look at all that detail. It's like satin underneath. He's got some nice embroidery right here on his sleeves. And he has a very long, nice cape too. But um, again, it's kind of in the back of the box, so it's hard to see. It's like satiny on the inside and like um, this velvet on the outside. And he just has some basic black pants, and he just has some black boots down here. These boots are actually really detailed. Sometimes I see Disney dolls, like, especially the boys, with just, like, plain black boots. These actually have quite a bit of detail. They have a nice little print. They've got a little bit of gold paint on there. So those are pretty nice boots. That's kind of nice. And, of course, both these dolls do come with a stand, so if you take them out, you can, uh, you know, have a nice, easy way to display them. And here is Aurora. And, of course, she has uh, real eyelashes, like all of the limited edition dolls do. And she has this really, really nice, I love her crown up here. It's got like real jewels and stuff in it. It's really pretty. It just looks like a little plastic crown up here. But it looks really detailed and really nice, which it better for $750. And I think mine overall has really, really nice hair. For the most part, it looks really, really nice and put together. I've seen some where the hair looks kind of messed up. So I'm happy mine, her hair looks pretty good for the most part. And then her little gold necklace right here, which is a little bitty diamonds on here, matches her, um, her crown up here. So that's really pretty. She's got gorgeous uh, jewelry. Then here's her bodice piece. Lots of jewels and embroidery up here in this piece that goes over her shoulders. And then she's just got some like mesh see-through sleeves. Really pretty. And then just like a silky-ish uh, bodice top. And then her dress. Her dress, the bottom portion is just, that's where it's at down here. Whoa, look at this. It's got, she's got so much, I mean this part right here is just so beautiful. It's got a lot of embroidery. It's got a ton of jewels on it. It's really, really beautiful. It's, I don't know how many layers it has because it's really kind of buttoned and pinned together. I don't even think I can see her shoes. I'm going to try to see if I can dig down her shoes. But we'll do that in just a second. And then, of course, because she is getting married, she has this really pretty, like, it's like a peach-colored veil. Nice little lace here on the end. It looks very long and big. But, again, I can't tell until I take her out of the box, which hopefully I can one day. But for now, she's got to stay in here to stay nice and 
not dusty. Okay, I'm trying really, really hard to get down there so you can see your shoes. And I can't, it looks like they're just like a little pair of um, heels. And I think they're either white or peach color. I can't tell. I can't get in there because her dress is so pinned down. So maybe I'll have to show you her, her shoes in a in a future video if I ever open these. So anyways, that is the uh, wedding Aurora and Prince Philip. Last time I checked, they were actually still available, which doesn't surprise me at a $750 price tag. But I'm going to put the plastic and the cover back on so they don't get dusty or messy. And again, I'm super excited that I got number 22. That's like really awesome. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, review, and I will see you in my next Disney-related video, my wonderful Disney family. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this overview of these dolls. I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.